Let's go ahead and get this test fit on the way. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Chris. This is my channel called Mumble. As you guys recall, I was trying to fit the Koenigs onto this car. Being that they're a 10 and a half inch uh, wheel, I knew it was going to be a pretty aggressive set. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and go over and how the wheel's set. Keep in mind, this is an 18 by 10.5 wheel, plus 25 offset. They want the best of me now. They want the best. In case anybody missed a glimpse of my break, um, here is a better look at them. Just a better look at the rotors for anybody who didn't see them last time. I also did a little small size comparison just so you guys can be aware of how much wider this wheel is compared to the OEM front G37S wheel. So look at how wide it's going to be compared to the old ones. So 10.5. Seven and a half. Now this next clip is one of my favorites because the brakes and the wheels look so damn good. One thing I was worried about was this right here, but as you guys can tell, it does clear. Very minimal space back here. I would say maybe about a quarter inch, maybe a little bit between a quarter and a half inch. Well, the camera's gonna pick this up, but no rubbing issues whatsoever. So everything's good. This is about how much clearance you have, which I would say it's about a finger. But overall, I'm digging this look. Now, the moment of truth, I'm about to drop the car because this is a ten and a half inch wheel. So let's find out what happens. Come on, you can't lie, man. That that looks sexy as hell. As soon as I mounted that wheel on there and it looked so good, man. Like I, I just really wanted to put all of them at the same time. But I have to wait just because I said I think I'm gonna need a camper kid. And this is the reason why. Let's find out what happens. Cause look at how much it is poking. And this is what I was afraid of. The wheels do stick about maybe an inch or so out. Uh, maybe less than an inch, I would say. It's not too bad from certain angles, it looks good, but once you go to the front or the side, like a basically like a three fourths view, it looks kind of uh, a little bit too much. From this angle, the car looks good. But this is how much the poke is. That's crazy. I'm probably gonna need to stretch the fenders out or flare them out, but it's something I don't wanna do. It's another look from the side. So, back to the drawing board. Well, maybe running a little bit of camber might help with that. I gotta see how the backs are gonna sit and that's gonna justify if I do keep these on the car or not. One of the reasons I'm really trying to get wheels right now or get anything on the car other than these G37S wheels is the fact that I'm tired of buying tires for these wheels specifically. My car has sat like this for about two years already. It's time for a change. Worst comes to worst, uh, I'm gonna store these wheels until I get enough money to buy everything that I need to do. I'm not really wanting to do that right now, camber my wheels too much because this is my main car. I do go through some very harsh roads right now and having that much camber and having my wheels rub and stuff with my kid and my girl in here it is going to get annoying after a while i was a bit disappointed that they weren't sitting the way that i was hoping they would but hey you live and learn i knew it was going to be an aggressive fitment and i knew what to expect but i mean a lot of people were telling me it looks so good because you have such a beefy tire you know that's what draws to it so i might go ahead and do it just want to see how the back is going to sit um, a lot of people told me to race the car up a little bit. Um, I also got a couple people telling me to maybe try a 255-40 18-inch tire just to give it a bit of more of a stretch look to it. So that's something else I might consider. Um, I might go ahead and order a 255-40 18-inch tire just to see how the stretch is and put it on one of the other ones, just try it out with that. That's also something I'm reconsidering. I'm not a big fan of the stretch looks, but a 255 40 18 inch tire i've seen the way it sits on an 18 by 10.5 inch wheel it's not a bad stretch it's still decent the last option that i do have is just to go ahead and order a 18 by 9.5 inch wheel it's gonna not gonna have that concave look it's gonna be more of a flat face 
um, that's another option I'm looking at that's gonna run me about another four hundred and fifty dollars just to order all so that is another option that I'm considering I have a couple set of wheels that I haven't used on this car um, I did buy a set of wheels a while back uh, that I was gonna throw on here but I never got the chance to. I might just go ahead and show you guys though. They are OEM wheels. They are 19s. So this is basically it for this video guys. Give me some input. Give me some help. You know, give me some ideas. Some of you guys already hit me up on Instagram. I posted this picture on Instagram first of all. And a lot of you guys give me some good feedback. I'm taking a lot of y'all's ideas and I'm reconsidering. I'm thinking about them. Being said guys, I hope you do. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sitting And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night, getting There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream,